Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here today. I'm going to start a new series on an altered book. Uh, I've had several people request that, so I'm going to do a little start to finish on an altered book, and I've been wanting to do one anyway, so works out perfect. So first, hi and hugs to Peggy, Pamela, Allison, and Teresa. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for your nice comments. I have a couple of shares before we get busy. This first one is from Wendy. And her Etsy shop is called Ugnith Bach. I think that's how you say it. Ugnith Bach. And um, I think it's a tribute to her grandfather or something. So anyway, she shared a couple of her digitals. This one's kind of a... Uh, you know, insect specimen one. I'm not sure the exact name of this, but it's on her Etsy. And um, so that is, that are some of the pages from that one. And then this one is called Wild Meadows. And um, so we've got some little envelopes there, some little pockets with, um, you know, could be, could be cut out and put something in there. Got tags and corner pockets and belly bands and postcards. And then this page with the guest check and some journaling cards and stuff. So yeah, so I just wanted to introduce her to you. She just introduced me to herself. So there's that. And then my sweet friend, Mary, um, from Three Insistent Dogs on, uh, on Etsy, she sent me this beautiful photo album all for my 4th of July weekend photos. Isn't that just the coolest? Look at this. She's just all these places for photos. So I have to get busy and this part folds out too. I have to get busy um, getting some printed off. So very fun. Thank you so much, Mary. That was so sweet of you. So that will help me to treasure that, that weekend all the more. And then, you know, Mary does some of the great um, embroidery, word embroideries and stuff. And look what she did. Look at how cool that is. Cottontail Farms with a bunny. I love that. And then be kind. Oh my word. Mary, these are awesome. Oh, that is so cool. That's going to go on a cover. Oh, she did more than one. Oh, thank you so much for these, Mary. These are just going to make fabulous covers just so cool honey farm fresh that's really cool too she sent two of those thank you so much mary yeah these embroidery machines just kind of baffle me it's like oh my gosh they're so smart you just you program them and they they do what they're supposed to do <laughs> I just love these. Thank you so much for both things, Mary. I appreciate it. So, okay. We're going to do this thing. So I have a dollar store book. So I don't uh, vouch for any words that we don't want to see. <laughs> I like this one because it's... Um, it's just really plain, and so we can decorate the cover. But the other thing I like is it's got the, I don't know what you call them, but the raggedy edged pages, and I kind of love that too. So we are going to get this thing prepared. We are going to rip pages, and then here's my thought on this one. I want to use up some of my um, printed digitals. I have so many printed so I grabbed out some folders. I have Journal Centric. I have some of them. I have some from Paper Daisy Journals. I have some from Cat Crafty Cat. 
and then I have this giant folder of Roxy Creations. So that's what I'm going to start with. And what I thought is I'll just kind of go through my um, my folders and use some of these papers that that I have printed out. So I usually leave, you know, three, four, five pages at the beginning. So um, what will it be? So it's the end page and then four more pages, I think. Yeah. So that's, so that's good. And then this will be my first pocket, if you will. So that's the first page I'm going to save. And I am going to take out, I think I'm going to take out eight pages to begin with or so. See how that looks. Um, I kind of, I, you know, more than 20 pages in one of these makes it an alligator mouth once you decorate it and put stuff in it. So I'm going to take out eight. And if I get towards the end and it's looking kind of full, then um, we'll take out 10. 10 the most that I've taken out between pages. So, okay, so this is going to be the first pocket. And then we're going to tear out eight. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and so then these will be put together to make a pocket, right? And then it will hide that, to that torn. And I'm, I'm going into a little more detail. I know you've seen me do this before, but I had a lot of people ask how to do it. And, and um, yeah, rather, I mean, they can go back to my old videos, but um, too, but we'll just, we'll just go with this. And I will find a good um, playlist for this too. I think I have start to finish journals or something like that. And so I, maybe I'll put it in there. Okay, so that's first pocket, right? So now on this one, what would I like to do? I think I'm gonna go one more. Sometimes I keep two pages and I'll show you that in a minute. So we're gonna keep this as the front of this pocket and tear out eight, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's the next pocket. Okay, on this one, I am going to keep two pages because I think I want to make a pocket out of this page like, let's see, like that. I think I want to do that. And then I'm going to make a pocket out of this one. So... Maybe I want to, t I, I want to take out some, maybe what I'll do is take out four. So I'm going to keep one, take out four, one, two, three, four. And then this one will be the pocket here. I'm just going to fold it. So I remember what I'm doing. <laughs> How's that? How's that for being a little nervous that you're not going to remember what you're what you're doing. I'm just going to fold that like that. And then this will be the pocket going the other way. So we can kind of get that. We'll get that folded under too, just so we remember. Because I think it's kind of fun to have those across from each other like that. So I'm going to take out four. And 
and then this will be the back page of that. So see, this will be like this. Okay, and then this will be the next pocket, or the, the yeah, the next, the next pocket, and we will go with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, eight. Excuse me while I get that out of there. Okay, so that's a good start. And then, um, and then we'll see, we'll see how, where we get to. Okay, so we're just going to be right to here with our pockets. Okay, so we have book pages for glue, glue pages, don't we? <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, so now I get to play. Now I guess get to play. So I don't know why. And you don't have to do it this way, but I leave these till later for some reason. I don't know. So I'm going to make this one into a pocket first. So I'm going to cover and, and I'm just going to collage in these books. That's what I'm going to do is collage and, you know, put pockets in and all of that. But, but yeah. And so um, what I usually do is kind of, uh, go every other one. So I'm going to make this one a pocket from the top and then this next one will be a pocket from the side if that makes sense. Let me get my handy dandy little book weight that my pal sent me and um, Peggy sent me this I do believe and it is on my favorite things because it is so handy. So handy. Okay, so let's see which one do we want. Oh, maybe this one. Gosh, sorry guys, I could just having trouble getting it out of them, out of the box. So this is an inch and a half circle punch. So I think we'll just give that a punch now. I'm going to sneeze, excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> oh, my nose has been crazy today, and I'm pretty sure there's something blooming. So, or something new blooming, you know? Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to just give this a little, a little distress ink before doing anything else. I have to get back in the swing with with these kind of books. I haven't done one in a long time. So thanks to everybody who suggested I jump back on and do this. And then I'll be working on finishing um, my Tim Holtz journals off camera. And yeah, we'll just we'll just do a little of this. Let's okay. Um, yeah, and then I just thought of something else I want to show you. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and um, and glue this. So glue this pocket. So it's gonna be a pocket around here, right? So we just, really, we just need to glue here and here. If I hope that makes sense to you. And I hope my glue isn't goobered. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit there and then down here for this top pocket. And then what I like to do is nearly close the book. But hold it like this, and then you're going to pull this page a bit because otherwise it's going to it's going to buckle on you because you've torn out all those pages 
in between. So you kind of have to line it back up again. So you see now that is just perfectly lined up. And so it's all good. Okay, let's decide on what we might like to pull out here. Um, which one to start with? I think I'm going to start with Rachel here. What do I have? I have so many of hers printed. Oh, I think I have Lulu's, her daughter's. Oh, I'm going to use some of the Italian church because she did she did those in response to my suggestion. So the other thing we need is we need some book pages and stuff. So I, I actually have my Italian book pages, but then let's see, book pages and music. So I have book pages, I have music, and we'll see what else we might need at some point. So, okay, this is going to be so fun. I love doing these. All right. Okay, which one would I like to do? Mm, I think I'm going to start with some of this one. And I'm going to have a big old mess doing this, but like I say, it's just a lot of fun. And, and really with, you know, some of the digitals I have, it's not like you... It's not like you have to collage because it's already collaged for you, but um, it's kind of fun to mix it up a little bit. And and it's almost like, isn't it almost like re-collaging? <laughs> now, in each pocket is going to be a journal card, it, like in these big pockets. I have these grid journal cards from that they're like a project life brand and i like to just put a tab on them and put them in here and they're blank on both sides so if you don't have um if you don't have any journaling space on the pages you don't need to worry about that although like like this if you if we use this then there can be some journaling on that, of course. So, hmm, let's just, let's just see what we would like to do here. I don't know. I think I want that, this middle piece down the side. Like, that could be down the side. Here. And I don't mind if there's a little blank space, split space either. Ooh, say that fast ten times. Okay. Just gonna look through Rachel's papers again. Oh, I really, really like this pink. And then the glorious thing is you end up with lots of scraps. That means you can do um, some collage pages, you know. <laughs> I do find these really fun, the altered books. Then we'll put it together and we'll find some sort of some sort of a um, some sort of a cover is what I'm trying to spit out. I <laughs> can't. <laughs> that one didn't tear very well. Okay. 
Okay, liking that. I'm thinking about just tearing this flower out too. this up a little bit and then right in there this is a great way to use up scraps too I'm wondering if I have something here's some I think this is Russian dictionary or something oh that's pretty isn't it Okay. Oh, I'm excited to have started on this. What time is it? Oh, it's only 20 minutes in. Yes. Okay. I am going to, I'm going to distress. I know it's, I distress ahead of time, but I don't know what I'm going to pick out to do. <laughs> So I don't know how many parts this will be, but I feel like when I've done it before, there's quite a few parts because there's just lots of um, collaging to do and lots of thinking about, you know, different pockets to use in it and stuff like that. Some of which we may make, but some of which I might already have made, you know, in all my uh, ephemera from just, just making ephemera. And that's why I kind of wanted this to be a little, I guess you could call it a little eclectic because I wanted to... Um, Be able to to use a variety of things out of my out of my stash as well as making some stuff so I'm gonna put that just just sort of under like that and this So people who are new might be wondering, you know, what's the difference between this and another journal? It's just another way of making a journal. It's still for writing, memory keeping, photographs, whatever you want to put in it. <clears throat> it's just made a little bit differently. Instead of sewing in your own signature, you just use the signature of the book. But you have to, you have to take it down a little bit because um, otherwise it gets too thick if you don't take some pages out. Um, and then also I wanted to say one of the reasons I really like using the dollar store books rather than a vintage book for this is the spine is strong. So it can, you know, it can take the wear and tear of pulling out pages and stuff. So, oh, I love that. And I'm not sure if that, if I want anything else on that or not. So, um, I mean, we could, we could put like a label. Across. Oh, you know what might be fun <laughs> is... Oops, wrong one. Um, I think I have a bunch of Rachel's, a bunch of these cut out, which are so pretty. I mean, that one's nice, isn't it? Once a little bit blends in. nice isn't it I love these like look at how pretty that is 
Well, any of them would look good, but I think I like that one. Okay. I feel like we're off to a grand start. Okay, put that there. I mean, you can put fabric in these like you can any other journal, that sort of thing. Um, but again, you just have to be conscious of it getting too fat because there's just nowhere for it to go <laughs> with the uh, spine being as it is. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's That was a fun one, wasn't it? And then from now on, it'll be kind of more or less spreads because it'll be two pages, right? So, so there's that one. Okay, um, we are going to punch this on this side now. And um, go ahead and get it inked and ready. And then I think what I'm going to do is then just put, put Rachel's digitals away. You can do it this way. It doesn't matter if you get it on the other pages because they're going to end up being distressed anyways. Um, anyway, I'll put Rachel's digitals away, grab out someone else's, and that's just how we'll go. Okay, so, oh, this side. Where, where am I? Where am I and what am I doing? Oh, let's see. Nope, not that one. This one. Sheesh, Gail. Yeah, it is, it is a little confusing. That's why I like to just do, I don't know, three, four, five pages and then and then wait until I get to that point and start tearing some more. Okay, that's a little bit done. Okay, so now I'm just going to, just gonna put these papers back if not in Rachel's folder, then maybe, maybe what I'll do is put them at the beginning and then I'll know that I use those um, particular, that particular kit. This is what I want to say. Okay, so. Okay, so there's Rachel. Let's do... Do a little journal centric. No idea. They have wonderful papers though. Now some of these I have on the thicker presentation paper. I'm not going to use those. I'm only going to use ones that are um, printed on copy paper because then it's thinner. Also, again, using um, like using scrapbook paper in a book like this will make it real fat real quick. So again, probably not the best of ideas. Let's get this one all glued in. So we're just gonna go up the sides this time because it's a side loading pocket. And again, I'm gonna kind of close my book and pull Pull the page over as much as it will go. Get it straight as it will, can be. Um, and that's helpful. It isn't, it doesn't go completely to the edge right there. You can see that, but, but it's not uh, bubbly. 
It's all good. Okay. So I got, I love this one that was on the top. So let's, let's do a little rippy rip with it and decide what we're going to do. I'm thinking, what if I kind of go in the spine with this and then some other right here. I might go down here. Let's go. Let's go right there. And then that will kind of tie the two together, make it, you know, look like like it's cohesive, if you will. Um, how about a piece of this little book? I'm kind of keeping this page because it has that little angel and I'm not sure what I want to do with it but I, something I would like to do something with it I think I'm going to tear it like in that title there. So we can put that there. We can always punch out the, the hole again. So maybe that there. So I'm saying I need, need one for the other side too, don't I? That has really pretty writing. That's why I was saving that one. <laughs> oh, I don't know how many pages this book has in it, but it's not going to be enough because I have really enjoyed using it. I purchased this from Rachel at Roxy Creations, and um, I really love it. Okay, so I'm going to put that maybe down here. And leave that raggedy edge like something like this and then I feel like I'd like some music or something oh goodness a piece of music here That is like the exact right size. <laughs> That's awesome. That doesn't happen very often. Um, how do I want to do up here? Maybe I don't want to use that. Um... Get into my music here. I'm just gonna put that 
that down there. I'm going to put this under it, I think. Like a so. And then this goes here. You may say that's an awful lot of music, which I would agree. However, I'm thinking about maybe putting a belly band on here or something. And then we'll put a focal point on that one. Okay, I think I have a plan. All right, so first I better... I'm a little... Get him a little zhuzhed up, as Wendy would say from Wendy's Journal Adventures. to lunchtime. My smoothie's wearing off. <laughs> yep, it's just, it's so much fun to just go with the flow on these, I feel like. And, um, and personally, I like doing these with no theme, just, just going for it with, you know, whatever's on your table or whatever you have a lot of. Like, I just needed to, I just needed to pare down the digis a little bit. I've been doing a lot of introducing shops and stuff, but, you know, you have to, you have to print the digitals in order to do that, so... <laughs> ended up with with a, a few so I could do I think quite a few I think I'm gonna tear let's see that is like that so I'm gonna tear this part um yeah so I've ended up with a lot and You know, I've got a list as long as your arm of journals that I want to do. So, you know, the digitals that I'm doing to show may or may not fit into what it is that I want to do next or next, next or next after that. Don't you sometimes just feel like there's just not enough time to do everything you want to do? Boy, I do. I definitely feel like that. I'm not sure how much of this is going to show, but I'll do this side anyway. Okay. So now we're going to glue. We're just going to glue and glue. Okay, let me put these. Let me just put that there. And let's see, I'm going to do that. So I think I'll do this first. That makes sense, right? You do kind of go through the glue sticks doing a book like this. <laughs> use your card to smooth out if you want. I seem to be doing okay with my hands, but okay, then then this one and then the other one. Okay. I'm thinking, I wonder if I have like a thick pink lace or something for a belly band. I need to make sure I'm, oh, I can be over on this. Okay. 
Okay, then this, I'll get a new glue page. That one was torn a bit weird, so make a small journal card out of it. <laughs> That's a pretty page. I like that. Put a little more on this end here. Okay. There's that. Then how did the how does this one go down? Once again, we start with this. I love, love, love the pages in this book. right at the bottom like so okay and then this then this or this then this I think this then this okay I think it's supposed to be nice, really nice today, so I'm thinking I might spend a little hammock time. I could be down here working. I have plenty to do, but, you know, we, we get so few months of super nice weather here that you got to take advantage of it when it happens because, yeah, it's... Once I get done with these books, I usually go around and look and make sure everything is good and glued down to all the edges and everything because sometimes you miss an edge. Alrighty then. Ooh, I love that. That's real pretty. Okay, I want to take this and maybe my my brush will get down in the crevice there. Right. So now I want to find something to make a belly band on this page, I think. So why not? Okay. So let's see how we're doing for time. We're doing good. All right. Um, I'm just going to see if I can find some thick pink lace. I'll be right back. Maybe, maybe. Okay, and this might work. Let's see. I think that's pretty. Except I think that goes that way. Okay, and then um, 
my thought was, let me, let me just put that on the floor and grab the digitals from Ugnife Bach, Ugnife Bach. Because I, I know she's got, in here she's got some. That's just on regular paper though, so I don't think I want to do that. But I loved these. I think I'll use the one with the darker pink. It's my mission to use up digitals. This is pretty good. Just printed this out this morning. So we're getting this one put into service here. Okay, so let's see what we think. Put that there and then Okay, I'm feeling like I want book page or something, something else behind it that's just a little wider and could be the length of the book page. So, um, I'm just looking to make sure one of these. I know. Let's use something out of here that might not have a bad word. So that had it with these books with bad words, peeps. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, this is very fragile. Ooh, that just cracked right down the middle. Okay, we're not going to use that. Oh, shoot. That's too bad. Let's see if I can find something that feels more substantial. feels substantial. It's long enough. If I just cut it right where the border is. Okay, let's try this. So that picture's still there, even though we're going to cover it up. Ooh, I like that. That's nice. Okay, we're going to let's get this put together. Let's call this, then we'll call it a day. Don't know what I'm going to do on the other side yet. I'd kind of like to use another piece of this over on that other side. So we'll see what we get to. I'm going to need to glue this part. Okay. We're going to 
glue down this page. Glue right on this edge and then the other edge and this edge. That should do it to glue that together. Okay. Um, we need to put this on. So what I'm going to do is use it to measure how far to go. It's right or this way. It's this way. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this on and glue this on. And then you guys, it's so weird not to hear Jimmy's little footsteps everywhere. It goes the other way. I am just struggling here with this little this little project. Okay. Now we're going to actually squish the ends together too. And then I'm going to put this down. Here. Right in the middle. I think I might clamp that on the top and bottom and then what we'll do is center this other one. I'm just gonna glue want to glue it like that I'll just give the option of it being a double belly band how's that we'll just do the top and bottom oh isn't that pretty that's very fun okay I think we might be oh I was hurrying because I thought we were out of time but we weren't quite so we're going to work on this slightly more just to get it trimmed up. Okay. We're just going to trim this slightly. Oh, gosh, it came off. That's crazy. Maybe I need to use Fabri-Tac. Well, while it's off, I'll just trim this so that it's neat. <laughs> There's a plus. There's always a plus. I do like Fabri-Tac for belly bands. It probably would have been a good idea to put the lace on with Fabri-Tac too, but it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna clip it again. On this side, I just need to clip. Sorry, I'm kind of probably off camera, but I gotta get an angle on this where I can see it. There we go. And then we'll clip that in too. Well, yay! We got it kind of, we got it kind of going. Got off to a good start, I'd say. And I'm thinking, I had one other page. Let me look at that. I was wondering about perhaps one of these postcards as a pocket on this side. Let's just see what we think. Do 
these are so pretty. I love these. Let's see. I guess we're. I think we're here. To put just above the music. Would that be cute? I think so. And then it ties in the other page too, I feel like. So let's do that. Do we want to clip? Let's clip a little so we know it's a pocket. We don't have to do much. It just Okay, so I'm going to attach that. Actually, first I'm going to clip this, reclip this um, thumb hole here. Yeah, there we go. Good, good. Almost forgot to do that. Okay, then we just have to pop this on with some art glitter around it. And we got a couple pages decorated. And then we can go back in and decide if we want a little lace or anything on this. I mean like a little piece of lace right there or something might be nice. What do I have? I can't stop. I can't stop. <laughs> Can you tell? Oh, goodness. Okay. Where's my little laces? Mm. There's this. I'm going to put just five of those across. Just because, although first I'm going to Put a little distress on them because they are super white. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now the first page is done. How about that? Aren't we good? What do I do with my top of my glue pen? There it is. All right. So, did those two pages. How are you doing, little belly band? I think it's going to stick now. So, we did that page. Oh, see, there you go. It's, it's coming up a little bit on the edge. So the art glitter glue is perfect for this on an altered book because you can get it right down in there. So yeah, stuff like that shows up as you're working on it, but it all can be fixed. Okay, so we've got to start on our next one and I love it so far. So very fun. So I hope you enjoyed and um, we will be back with some more in this series because, um, yeah, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Oh, I just fussing around with the belly band, but I love it. Look at how cute that is. And we'll put a nice card or something in there. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Uh, have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.